Hello guys, welcome to Shipment Testing with Spirit. My name is Spirit Girl, and a couple of days back I was playing this CTF on Hub Flux Fingers and there was a challenge named Confession and it was the challenge description. Someone confessed their dirtiest secret on this new website. Let's have a look on the website. We can see it is a single page website and let's see if there is any robots.txt file and it is not and so i wanted to prove that you knew some secret without revealing it right away well and here we can see we have a title where we can enter title and here's a uh, confession that we can make we subscribe oops all right just subscribe and here's the hash that we get and here's the message, the same message that we wrote in the um, confession uh, text field. And how, and this is the way we can verify it using SHA-256. So means this, this hash is using SHA-256 uh, probably. And let's see once we uh, click on publish what it will do. And we can see, we can see there is some random thingy there right here after a font sign or hash sign in the URL. And, and this is the exact thing that we wrote in the title and this is the hash and this is our message and yeah so let's see how they are actually um, storing it and uh, how yeah let's go back to the main page let's view the source go to this we can see they, they are using uh, confession.js and they must have wrote it using their own hand yeah they have typed it and this is not a universal js script that we find in the wild so we can see uh, it is fetching it from the GraphQL and so if you don't know what a GraphQL is then uh, you can prob uh, probably go here at the Hacktrix or or the uh, original GraphQL website uh, They have written the same thing like uh, the GraphQL was first introduced by the Facebook in the year 2015 and GraphQL act as an alternative to REST APIs um, So REST API requires a client to send multiple requests to different endpoints. Yeah, that's accurate and but uh, GraphQL only need to send one request to the to query the backend okay so now we know that let's see uh, what they are actually doing also if you don't know about the graphql then they also have um uh the web version i would say so if you can just type graphql uh this is not um permanent like uh, that you will get uh, that every time you will get the uh, web interface for the graphql but um it is a thing so right now we can't grphql grphql yeah the spelling is right and but on this time we don't have it all right no problem um so for this what we can do is we can actually use the uh, uh you, you can use the verb suite or the postman i love uh whenever i'm dealing with apis then i always prefer using postman because it's amazing and graphql we can um and it goes right here you can see it is using uh, the method post and it is actually uh, giving the content type header application underscore json let's uh, write it here um, content type and here we can type application underscore json and let's see how they are querying it so um, some queries and mutations so uh, in graphql queries generally mean that you are trying to fetch the data means you are trying to read the data and the mutation means you are actually trying to write the data so now we know that let's see uh, get confession so we can get the confession with this uh, keyword we can um, think that uh, we can actually read the confession and here is the gql function that they have made probably and here they are querying it we query q and uh, we have to give the hash uh, that we got using the 256 um, um yeah 256 one yeah and here they are uh, calling the confession function and they are giving the same hash that we will give and um, they will actually print a uh, title and hash for us i mean and they will return it uh, return title and hash and yeah that's it and same with the get confession with message where we just have to give the id as the argument and it will call confession with message with the same id that we will give and through that we can actually read the title hash and message and we can add confession using um, mutation m we can give the title and a message and it will call the add confession yeah that's all that's all we need nothing else all right so if you will go here to the hack tricks this is the best resource that i came across 
So we can actually start with basic enumeration with this. So th this thingy that you just see, underscore, underscore schema, it is actu actually the introspection. So um, introspection is just um, a query. And in the GraphQL means interception, um, interception uh, usually start with double underscore. And yeah, and mm, that's all I would say for now about introspection. And let's go to body. Let's go to GraphQL and just send the request. Let's see what we get. So we do get something. Let's copy this and let's read it here. That is much fine here. So we can see we have a schema type uh, and its name, its name is query and we can actually query. Yep. And it has two fields, access log and confession. So access log is linked with access for sure. And confession would be linked with this confession thingy. So um, this means like, we can actually um, let me duplicate tab go to body so this means we can actually um, get the data from this access log by just typing access log and we can give uh, what we need to um, get in return means we can get the timestamp name and args let's type all of these three timestamp name and the args it was name or names name yeah so i just type this and just send it let's see and we do get a ton of data and let's copy this okay so you can probably see right here um we are actually in args and arguments we are actually getting the hash a ton of hashes so all all of them start with this thingy args and uh, as a key yeah so what i did was i just copied it in my Visual Studio Code. And if you will type uh, or press Control D, then you will select the same text if it is there. So it, let's select everything. And after we did it, what we can do is we can just copy it. This is the most suitable method that I came across. And after it, we can actually type, um, sorry, press Control H. And we can type on backward slash and just click on replace all. And it will remove all of these now what we can do is we can actually try to copy a couple of them let's copy it and let's see here's the practication website i just copied and pasted them let's remove the double quote yeah. and let's see okay we need to verify and try the hashes and as you can see the first hash is f the second hash is fl and the third hash is fla and the fourth hash is flag uh, but after it, it is unknown means after this one. So means the next hash would contain the previous hash uh, uh, result in the plain text uh, means the de de decrypted one and it will add a single character here. So we can actually automate this stuff using Python and that is what I'm going to do it right now. So let's give it a way and we can actually type um, after every of these. Um, let me do it. Yeah. So now if I will type print a it will actually give me uh, the whole list. So now what we can actually do is um, uh, we need all the uh, characters. So that means all the ASCII characters, ASCII print table characters for that we are going to use the string and uh, uh, string library, you can say. And we are going to use the ASCII letters. Uh, it will contain all the lowercase and uppercase thingy. And we are going to need the digits and the punctuations. So Let's get right into it. So now I'm going to create b is equal to a, um, a empty list and for i n string. Wait, I need to question for it. Bot string. Also, we will be needing the hash uh, for encrypting and decrypting uh, the shard of the hash. Yeah. So now we need um, s letters, and we can actually do b append and i. We are going to do this with um, digits and the punctuation so we can just type digits and here punctuation and if now we will type print p then we can actually uh, see we have everything from um, lowercase a lowercase alphabets to the uppercase alphabets starting from here then we have all the digits then we have all the special characters that we need all right now we have it in the b then um, what we can do is we can actually um 
start a new loop for i n a for every hash means a is a hash and now we need a natural loop for uh, let's say x n b whatever all of these um, uh, characters that we've got the s characters that we have now and so now if we have it in the x field then what we can do is we can totally just use um let's say uh, let's give it a condition if uh, hash if dot short is x is um i oh no i but x then we can actually let's do the hash digest and let's compare it with the i so what it will do is uh, it will iterate to every single character that is inside the b uh, in this loop in the second one so it will iterate to every character and it will uh, 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 encrypt it in the using the uh, shard of 256 in shard of 36 hash we will get and then it will try to compare it and if uh, they will be same then uh, we are just going to print them out print um let's x and we don't need the uh, new line then we can just use ant right here but uh, there is a problem in this because it is going to print the uh, uh, only the single character uh, but there would be a problem and it will be uh, like we, we need the previous hash also the uh, the plain text of the previous hash so for that what we can do is uh, wait I don't know but let me which I, which I don't know which I it is let's see if you get something so this is a um, okay no problem then we are good to go I believe then we can actually just type um, C or we can just type flag and we will give a normal what you can say um, uh, an empty string right here and we can actually put it right here flag plus x and what we are going to do is we are going to put the previous hash value in the plain text and the x and we are going to iterate to uh, each of them and uh, we we do need to store them also so um, for that what we can do is we can actually type flag is equal to flag plus x and yeah so it will actually let's let's do it let's see what we get and we lost print over we need to print flag okay so here we go we just got the flag that is but please don't tell anyone so that is for uh, that's all for this challenge guys i hope you liked it and if you do like it then please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you can um, share the video probably if you like it and um you can follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle, oh my god, that's ridiculous, means, ah, uh, what? Yeah, so my Twitter handle is this, Twitter Sex Spirit, and you can follow me on Instagram also if you like, and uh, this is the blog where I usually post my blog, uh, where I usually write my blog post, you can definitely give it, give them a read, means I have written a couple of them, and you can definitely uh, subscribe to these two channel, channels, Live Overflow and the John Hammond, they make amazing videos, I know you guys have already subscribed them, but yeah, still, if you haven't, then please make sure to give them a subscribe and yeah and this screen wheel and ipsec also they are amazing and regarding this graphql i don't know what was her name but i think her name was farah uh, she made uh, uh, an amazing video on uh, uh, amazing video on this graphql thingy uh, if you want like just uh, watch it on her channel and if you want to support me then you can definitely support me on patreon uh, i love reading books so if you can then i will probably buy two or three more books so yeah that's it for this tutorial guys thanks for watching and in the next video we will try to cover the uh, next uh, level 2 ch uh, challenge for the player on 2020 so see ya